It's Ryan Walenga. It's W-A-L-E-N-G-A. I'm a major with the Henderson Police Department. Uh, so I just wanted to give you guys an update on where we're at. Uh, we've continued to search for the missing fugitive uh, all throughout the day. We've searched new areas of the north side of town. We did a neighborhood canvas uh, around an area that was a reported sighting of the subject. And we've con continued to search the riverfront for any, any potential leads. Uh, we, would, we would urge everybody in the public that if they see this subject, do not approach him. We believe him to be extremely dangerous and we believe him to be armed. So we urge extreme caution tonight, also extreme vigilance, that if they see anything suspicious, please call us and then we'll follow up in every lead we get. The longer that Gillespie is uh, still not located, are you guys leaning more towards that he might be in the river? I mean, the shoe was found near the river, so are you guys, where, where are your thoughts at? Where's the process at with that? Right now we have nothing specific about where he is, except for we have no new information that says he has left this area. Everything we, ha everything we have right now says he's in this area, so we're going to continue to search every lead we can, continue to have increased patrols, extra manpower signed, and continue to do everything we can to try to locate the subject. The uh, neighborhood canvas, what does yeah. that look like? They went door to door trying to, trying to confirm that everyone in that area was safe and account for anyone that was home or where they might be. Were there tips received today that um, were investigated and did anything turn off? There's been, there's been several tips from the community through, since this has begun and we appreciate every one of them. And some of them have resulted in sightings of people that looked similar but weren't the subject. But I would urge everyone if they see something that they believe may, may, may be of interest to us, please call us. We will follow up on everything we can. Everything's valuable. Uh, what, has anything changed about the, um, the sort of game plan going into day three? Well, right now we, we're going to follow up on some leads that we have currently. Uh, but we're going to continue to search the areas and, and try to develop more information. Like I said, every inf all the information we have currently is that he's still in the area. Do you still have the Ohio State Police uh, helicopter tonight? The Ohio State Police are still assisting us along with the Kentucky State Police. So we have lots of assets right now and we're doing everything we can. Do we know where the Mercury Capri was stolen from? Was it stolen in Ohio or Indiana? Do we know how they got that and how they got here? That's part of Ohio's investigation. I'm not going to comment on that right now. Okay. Um, the videos, like the surveillance videos from Camaro Court, Camaro Drive, when are we going to, when are those going to be released? I'm not sure at the moment. Uh, I would say it's probably going to be later, depending on how all this plays out. Does uh, Gillespie have any family that you guys are talking to or, or anything like that? I'm not going to go into specifically who we've talked to yet, but uh, like I said, we've, we're following every lead we possibly can, and there's lots of agencies involved. We're doing everything we can to try to locate them. Right now, we just urge the public to convey any potential information they see about this because it, it will ultimately, hopefully, uh, be resolved quickly, but it will depend on the public's help. There was a mention on the uh, Facebook post about mm -hmm. that canvas to check in on older neighbors, mm -hmm. people who might not be able to come to the door. Can you talk a little bit about what, what your hope comes from that? Well, I can talk a little bit about the concern. Like we said, this we have every reason to believe this subject's extremely dangerous. And our concern is, you know, for everyone in the community, everyone's safety, that if you know somebody in the community you haven't heard from, check in on them, take care of your neighbors, make sure that everyone's safe. If you see something out of place, let us know. Even if something as simple as a shed that, you know, the door was closed and now it's not, let us know, we will come check it. James Lee, uh, I think we saw that he had a court date. Do we know when he's being extradited to uh, Ohio? I don't have that information right now. Has he been charged with any crimes here in Henderson? I believe he has, but I would have to check on the exact crimes at the moment. Yeah, that's all. Thank you.